Good morning from almost at Corsica. We've had a good night's sleep here in the cabin and we've woken up to quite misty views out there. Yeah, I think it's cloudy, but it's going to get warmer. Sun hasn't even risen yet. It doesn't rise till seven o'clock and we got a morning wake up call at 5.45. Yeah, it's pretty early. Isn't it? <laughs> but time to suit up, get down there and head on our journey in Corsica. I'm so excited. Absolutely. We already had a couple of coffees from the yeah. cafe. They're actually really good as yeah, well. Yeah, they were great coffees. Actually. But yeah. Time to get suited up and we'll get on the bike and get off this boat. Looks good. I think the little chain did its job last night. Excuse me, what? I didn't think they had any straps here for us, but it looks like when you're unloaded and you've gone up to your cabins, they come and put one strap on. It's quite good actually having this railing there because you can only really go one way. But uh, wasn't very rocky at all, and as the bikes are in the middle of the boat, it's quite stable in the middle. So awesome. Not worry about. Let's get loaded up. Looks like we're about to leave the boat, Em. You all ready? I'm ready, are you? Yeah, all good. Got the route set, but I think we'll stop as soon as we get there and uh, get ourselves set. Maybe okay. we can sit, get a second coffee for the day. That sounds good, actually. Yeah, because I think it'd be nice to wait for the mist to settle or to, for the sun to burn it off, and then we've got a nice clear road. But Today should be a little bit more casual than yesterday, but we've got some fantastic roads to ride today on. Looks like these cars are staying on for now, these other ones. Yeah, we are getting off at the right stop, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Still in France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the mainland. Oh, oh, that would be the biggest anti-climax ever, a night on a boat and we're back in Nice or something. Oh, it's getting hot in here, Em. It is. I have like six layers on as well. I, I think I think either you're going to be too hot or I'm going to be too cold. I think... or neither. <laughs> here we go. So there was no passport control coming in and it looks like there's none coming out because, well, we are staying in France technically. Hi Corsica, nice to meet you. <laughs> I can smell that sea air straight away. Yeah. Oh, that sun is going to burn through. You can feel it. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, it's already looking like really nice here. It, it kind of has a Monaco feel straight away with those big... Y yeah, you're right, aren't you? Yeah. Same colour scheme as well. Well, overall, I think that was quite a successful journey, even though it was stressful to get there. I feel like it's a, it's quite an efficient boat. Yeah, it was very pleasant, wasn't it? There we go, there's the signpost for Cape Course. God, that couldn't be easier. <laughs> Straight off and That's there we are, Cape Course. Awesome. Everyone's going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> they know something that we don't. We pulled over straight away at the first fuel station that we saw. Basically to cool off, we got so hot waiting to get off the boat that just needed to cool down. But it's quite warm, I'd say it's like 10 degrees, but it's no wind and it's very calm. So we've just grabbed a bottle of water, cleaning the visors, Sean's setting up the camera and eating some chicken chunks for breakfast because we didn't have breakfast. <laughs> yeah, they're still good to pick them up in somewhere. Can't somewhere remember in France, where. yeah. Somewhere in France, I mean. And then we'll be ready to go. But we just needed that like moment, didn't we, to cool off and mm -hmm. just have a little breather, get everything set up. Shad is fully fueled, picked up some water, and then we'll be ready to go. You can already see in the distance here that the sun is going to break through, and it should be quite an atmospheric ride. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm getting super excited now. So the route for today, we've already planned with Calimoto before we left. Um, the GPX is also on the navigator, so we can use both of the phone and the navigator today. We're going to head up the coast all the way up until we get to the most northerly point. And then we're going to drop down the other side of the coast road and stop at a few places on the way. I think one of the places we're going to go to is San Florian, a um, little town there, probably maybe even stop there for lunch or something. And then we're going to head further over, further west, and tonight we'll be staying in Lil Rosé. We only have 166 kilometers today, but it's going to be lots of twists and turns and a nice casual ride. So let's head off onto the road now. Right, we're just leaving Bastia. We've just filled up the bike and yeah, ready to go. Uh, if we just carry on without stopping them, apparently we're going to be there at 1 a.m. at 1 a.m., 1 p.m. 
<laughs> really? Which means we got lots of time today, which is really nice. Oh, the coastline looks amazing. Just had a little glimpse <laughs> of it there. It's a little bit foggy, but it's going to clear up. It kind of makes for an atmospheric ride anyway. I'm just glad it's not raining. Anything but yeah, rain, I'm happy. Yeah, it is a little bit. What time is it now? It's quarter to nine. So actually getting up early on the boat is really good. It's given us a, a nice early start today. And feeling quite refreshed. Had a good night's sleep last night. You slept with your earplugs in last night, didn't you? I did. I was like gone to the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite a bit. There's some odd sounds on that boat, especially when it docked in Nice. I think it docked in Nice about 11 p.m. There was a lot of clunking and bashing going around, which didn't sound too great. I didn't wake up though, which is a good thing. You slept through. That's good. I think once we get around this corner, we'll get another glimpse. Well, our first glimpse of many of the coastline. It's always the way, isn't it, when you get to a new place. Um, you, see, you see some coastline, it's like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Five days later of just coastline. Well, it's been a while since we've done a coast road, really. We really searched it out in Spain. So it'll be nice to actually have a true coast road. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? The, the coast road in Spain was a bit intermittently on the coast and off the coast. But here it looks like it's just straight on there. Oh, a few speed bumps. Okay, best didn't go off, that's good. <laughs> Is that going to be a running theme of this trip? It's like, is the it vest is. going to go off? I think at the end of this trip, I might trust that the vest isn't going to spontaneously inflate. Unless it does. Said, when you put the sensor on the front fork, they said it, the sensitivity goes up a lot. Yeah. But I think it's designed well for a few bumps. It's not a problem. There we go. There's a bit of coastline. Look at the little village as well on the left. Oh, it's so sweet. like five kilometers in and I'm grinning ear to ear <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh this place is amazing <laughs> it's so weathered but it's just got so much character hasn't it, it? Is. I'm not surprised being next to the sea like that the shutters are nice and painted look at that imagine waking up to that every day oh it's beautiful I think that's the coolest thing about having a sea view is that it's constantly never the same. Yeah, and it, it's a sea view, but you're also quite higher than the sea, so you don't need to worry about it that much. Yeah. I think Corsica is going to scrub the side of our tyres for us. We're going to make up for that motorway day yesterday. Hopefully. Oh, it feels nice to just be going at a steady pace and just enjoying it, the curves and not oh, like it blasting. Does, yeah. Got nowhere to be at a certain time, it's great. Now we did book accommodation for this trip for every night because the days are so small that it was just easier. Yeah, and we'd heard um, a couple of friends told us that it can book out. And I mean, I'm sure they're talking about peak season and we are very, very early in the season. Um, but we didn't want to take any risks because it is such a small place. There's not like yeah. huge hotels you can just go to so I think we made the right decision in booking everywhere I think so too yeah so this trip for us is there it's quite going to be quite relaxing isn't it it's actually as yeah. opposed to like a, a big exploration but I love it's these just... these abandoned little buildings here they look yeah. great what's that glassy is that an old ice cream shop or something yeah I think so glassy is the brando and within 10 kilometers of Bastia, we are on an insane road. <laughs> we are, aren't we? There's loads of places to stop as well and, and eat and things. That's great. Oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> it's the coast road of dreams. The speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour here, which is quite generous, really, considering how narrow enough. these roads are and twisty they are. This island has seen a lot of action over the years, hasn't it? It's changed ownership quite a few times. 
Because there was a point where it was British, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. And Dutch, possibly. We'll have to read up when we stop next. But yeah, I think it was also the Dutch had it at some point, and then the French, and then the British, and then back again to the French. Wow. So we should see a lot of um, old fortifications then. Yeah, they should be, shouldn't they? Dotted about. Wow, it's beautiful. Orange trees and lemon trees growing. Oh, that is something I would love. Yeah, have your own orange and lemon tree. So far so good, Em. It's been really nice, hasn't it? It has been great. We're just about to head inland for the first time and yeah. then we'll be heading back up to the coast from there. So to, look, to get to the northern point, I think you have to go inland because you can't actually hug the rest of the uh, island all the way around. But I think we need to get a move on because the bike is getting blasted with salt <laughs> air at the moment. So I'm going <laughs> to pop wind. my gloves back on. <laughs> There's a little port town here called, oh, that's a difficult one, Maginaganunu. That Makina doesn't sound very French. Makinagaju. Makinagaju. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe it was named by a previous owner. <laughs> a previous occupier. <laughs> right. Let's go. It's uh, again. It looks. It looks weathered. quite sleepy. There's plenty of cars weathered. about, so there is a lot of activity here. It's a little port, isn't it? But again, these uh, these places are lovely, aren't they? They're gorgeous. A lot of character. Yeah, I guess they're just waiting for the uh, the season to to start for the people to pour yeah. in. All right, we've pulled off the main road now. We're on these little tiny roads to see how north we can get. But we've gone past quite a few old churches. We've got a lot of slate roofs everywhere. It's turning out to be quite an adventure. <laughs> if you look actually um if you look on the sat nav you can see it's like we're just driving into the sea yeah. <laughs> oh yeah that's the i don't know if i don't know if it is the most northerly point but it's pretty northern yeah i think that sat nav um is like adjusting the oh, the orientation called? yeah all right we're just arriving at Tulare. the road has stopped I'm not sure if this is a dead end. I think it is. Like, it's a dead end. I think that's about as far as we can get. But we're right at the top of Corsica now, and now we can turn back and go and explore the entire island. I think it's good to get to the top because we're, we're going to go all the way to the bottom, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. Distances are so small here. Like, yeah. I turned off, I thought it would be like an hour or something, but it was like 10 minutes to get here. It's lovely and warm, isn't it? It is, it's 18 degrees. This is a perfect temperature. It's another reason why I quite like coming quite early on in the season. Yeah, totally agree. Climate suits us. And if you look above there as well, there's a few monasteries and churches as well. But like we said before, we've only been here for about an hour and already we've stopped quite a few times. So Corsica is looking like a fantastic place. Ready to go, Em? Nearly. <laughs> Let's go in past those um, churches we saw from down the bottom there. The slate roofs are nice. They are, aren't they? It's like the wind's blowing a lot of the branches off these trees at the moment. Yeah, there's quite a few rocks in the road too. Yeah, I have to watch out for them. I love these tunnels of trees. Yeah, they're beautiful. I think this is the most iconic stretch of Cape Course. Is that right, Em? Yeah, that's it. I know. I think so, when we looked at the, the pictures of this, you said you just saw like lots of traffic. Yeah, I can't believe how quiet it is today. I guess that's the perk of the slightly cloudy weather. But it's boiling. It's like 20 degrees. It is. Yeah, it's quite hot. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's spectacular, isn't it? just perched on the edge of the cliff, this road.
that another little oh. village coming into view. And those views of the coastline. Wow, look wow. at the cliffs. Oh, that is stunning. I'm getting all teary. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh wow. Wow, it's spectacular, isn't it? Look at that. You have like no idea what's around each of the corners. That was super cool. Wow. It's never ending, is it? It's just like it's like yeah, the whole island is like this, I think. It's, it's spectacular. Oh, I don't know if you can see behind, John. If you look in the mirror, the road we just rode through with the giant rock behind. I can't believe this is Corsica. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be this good. No, I, I think this might be all-time best rides. It's, it's amazing. Like, every kilometre of it has been fantastic. Basically, since we got off the boat yeah i also think we were like quite skeptic about coast roads weren't we yeah because we've been let down so many times yeah that's where it's true, been yeah. like uh it's kind of a coast road but it's not really this is this is legit <laughs> this yeah, is a legit I, I coast really, road it's a good definition of a coast road isn't it just approaching the historical town of Nonza, which is perched on the cliff there. It looks so really, really cool, doesn't it? It does. It overlooks um, the Black Sand Beach as well, which we just got a glimpse of when we were riding up to it. There it is. Look at that. Oh, wow. It, it looks a very unaccessible beach. It does. That's good. And here's the little town. Oh, I really liking these little towns here at Corsica. They're, they're pretty much untouched, aren't they? Yeah. Like there's no like naff signs anywhere or. No, we've not colours. seen one supermarket or anything, have we? Oh, it's gorgeous. It is, isn't it? it? looks like a Disney set. Yeah. It's a cute coffee shop there as well. Do you want to pull over him? Yeah. First Corsican coffee. Yeah, it's one, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, so pretty much our first stop of the day. And what a lovely place this is. Is it called Nonza? Nonza, is it? Nonza or Nons, I think, in French, but it's, oh, it's straight got, out of a Disney set. Yeah, it's got so much character, the little slates on the roof. There's a little town there you can walk around so I think we'll have this coffee we'll go for a little wonder around that here it'll only take five or ten minutes and these coffees one euro fifty yeah these double espressos as well. and this it is looks cafe like. americano Fair. but oh it's good oh what a fantastic day that's good coffee yeah it's been <laughs> day one of the Corsica tour amazing I can't believe we've not come here before it's mm -hmm. no. a spectacular that that road might be one of the best rides Ever. ever, yeah. Ever. Nothing is more like a coast road than that than I've experienced, other than in Corsica, but it wasn't as twisty. Corsica, where were you? Um, in Croatia. Croatia, yeah. Croatia had Croatia. that, yeah. It had the feel, but not the curves. Yeah, and it's so quiet at this time of year. You got the whole place to yourself. Oh, I'm so happy. Cheers. All right, cheers, Em. There was a sign that said Tour de Nonza, so we're going to take it. Wow. Up here to the castle, Up I here? think. Yep. Like the houses up here are really built into the rock. I wonder if that's in their living room inside. Have you seen they've added like an extension on the top of this one? Oh yeah. But not at the same time. Some sort of on the roof loft conversion. What I didn't notice from down there is the little tower is completely made of slate stacked on top of each other. It's a little bit windy! <laughs> <laughs> Where do you have the place to yourself? Go on, Em. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love 
Looks like there's a good view of the town from here. Yeah. <laughs> the wind is mad today. <laughs> Well, the wind's died down for a second. Just gonna show you the black sand there. The black sand beach of Nonza is just behind us there. <laughs> I don't think it's accessible by vehicle, so you have to hike down if you want to see it. But that's good because it's just kept raw and natural. Kind of seems to be the theme with Corsica, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Should we go see this gift shop? Yeah, there's a gift shop inside the tower. Did they put like a mortar between the slates? Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's all stacked on top of each other. Wouldn't be a bad idea though. Yeah. Careful on these steps. It's a good size house for you, this one. It is. Looks like maybe some of the, um, the coral or the marine life they get here ah, in Corsica. Yeah. And some jewellery. Very pretty. And some knives. Didn't know Corsica was famous for knives. No, I have them made here. They look good. They do. Should we head back down to the bike? Yeah, the lady said we can go upstairs as oh, well. Oh, okay. Watch your head. <laughs> Tiny little window. What's this? The uh, tea towel and flag department. Yeah, and um, jute tote section. You do like a tote bag, don't I do you? Like it. What a lovely place to have the um, the gift shop, though. It is, the isn't it? And that fireplace. Yeah. This must have been a lovely place, though. There's another ladder that goes up to the roof. I think it just goes, like, outside, because you can see the wooden board like, rattling with this wind. You're good for souvenirs for today? I think so. Although you did see that patch. You might regret it if you don't find another one. Mm, I'm holding out. I'm holding out. <laughs> well, that was Nonza. Or Nons. Nonza, that what a beautiful little town that is. That was a lot of fun. Great little stop. Like you can, I like those. You can see it all in like ten or fifteen minutes. Bike safely parked up and some nice coffee spots. And what was it? One euro thirty for an espresso. Yeah, one fifty each. Three euros oh. spent. That's a cheap date. That. <laughs> I think we're going to get on the road now and head to San Florin. That sounds great. Another coastal ride continues. Oh wow, look at, look at it from this angle, then. Oh wow. What an amazing spot. We've just arrived in San Florent and we finished Cape Course for today, isn't it? What a magnificent ride. Insane. Oh yeah, absolutely spectacular. That might go down as one of the best roads I think we've ridden. It was It's oh. absolutely fantastic. Worth the hype and you can't miss it if you're in Corsica. Yeah. But for us now we're gonna be having a little wander around Saint Florent. So we'll see you in the next episode where we go from Saint Florent to Il Rosse and that's all we'll be staying for tonight.